Welcome everyone. Today we learn the concepts of deferred execution and immediate execution in C Sharp. So open a C Sharp compiler. I created a sample code. I have a product class with ID name and price properties and a product list which includes three simple products. The first concept to see is deferred execution that delays the evaluation of a query until the value is required. So add a new link query to filter the products based on the price called products and add the web clause. In the body of the web clause, we'll print the name of each product and then add the Boolean condition to filter the products. So let's get the products where the price is lower than 50. Execute the program. There is no output. Why? Because link queries are always executed when the query is iterated over, not when the query is declared. So add a for each statement to iterate over the query. So call filter products and add an empty body for the for each statement. Execute the program. As you will see, the query is being executed and we're evaluating each element of the collection. Deferred execution can improve performance by avoiding unnecessary executions. Now, instead of an empty body, print the name and the price of each filter product. So call console that right line. And by using interpolation, I'll print the product name and the price. Execute the program. Look that each element of the collection is evaluated and then filtered. This is called lazy evaluation, that basically each item of the collection is being evaluated and processed. This is the typical way in which iterators are implemented. Now add a new product in the products list. Let me copy this product. Let's add a new name and a different price and add a second for each statement after the product is added and a separator, execute the program and look that the second for each statement returns the latest data. Why? Because the third execution re-evaluates each execution statement. We're returning the latest data by including the added product, which is wallet. So with the third execution, will always return the latest data. Now command the first for each statement and add an order by method in the filter products query to order the elements based on the price. Execute the program and look that the execution flow is a little bit different because we're evaluating all the items and then we filter and order the products based on the price. This is called eager evaluation and it occurs when a first call to the iterator process all the elements of the collection and then process or filter the elements. In this case, the order by method has to sort all the elements and then filter them based on the price. Now let's introduce the concept of immediate execution that basically it executes the query immediately when the query is declared. This is useful when you want to catch data. So comment the second for each statement and add a to list method in the query to perform immediate execution. Execute the program. As you will see, it will evaluate, it will execute the query immediately. So you can call to list, to array and to dictionary to execute queries immediately and to process sequences of values. You can also perform immediate execution for singleton values. For example, let's return the lowest price for the product list. So call console that right lined, and then by using the min method, we'll return the lowest price. Execute the program. As you will see, we're returning the price, the minimum price immediately. We'll return in a singleton value. All the examples of singleton values are average, count, maths, and fast. 
So in this demo, we'll learn the concepts of deferred execution and immediate execution in C-sharp. 